What up, YouTube? It is your man, Julio Green here yet again with another episode of my Pokemon White playthrough. In the last episode, we uh, covered Route 1 and nicknaming our first Pokemon, Tepig Porkchop. Uh, I did it because, you know, pigs make ham and stuff like that. So he's a gentle nature, which uh, decreases defense but increases special defense. I mean, it's not the best nature, but I mean, you know what? I'll take it. Didn't actually realize to look at that. All right, so... Apparently, there's a huge commotion here, and you see Sharen. Let's talk to this bitch. Greasy, come here a sec. What do you want, bitch? And here is the evil empire that uh, exists in this game. In the first two, it was Team Rocket. In the next one, it was Team Magma and, or uh, Aqua, depending on the game that you played. And in Diamond and Pearl, it was Team, uh, Team Galactic. And in this game... So, let's see who this team is. My name is Getsis. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Huh? What? Getsis. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners. That have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth. This guy seems really angry. Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there's no truth in what I'm saying? No way. Yikes. I don't know. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? That's right. We must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you consider that relationship between people and Pokemon and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. And then they walk off. They, I like how they took the flags. This dude has, like, fucking bodyguards and shit. Apparently, he's just so cool. Yeah, look at that. Walks on his own. It's weird how he has a thing on his eye. I mean, did he get, like, shot there or something? Look out there, Speech. What do you think we do? We should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. And they leave. But there's this green-haired dude that, that just stands right there, and he comes up and tries to talk to us. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Your Pokemon. Just now. It was saying. Slow down. You talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. N for Negro. My name is Sharon, and this is Greasy. What's up, bitch? We just asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. He's a power-hungry motherfucker. The Pokedex, eh? So you're going to confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then? I'm a trainer, too, but... I can't help wondering, Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Greasy, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Uh, so here you meet another one of the bosses in this game, and you'll see him a lot in this game. Pokemon Trainer and he's kind of like another rival. You have a shit ton of rivals in this game. So he sends out a Purloin. Um, usually he has Pokemon that consist of uh, Pokemon that you find in the area that's near there. So that way, like, you know, it, it, it leads to what, what's going on. So, let's see. I'm going to Ember this motherfucker in the face. Oh, he's going to growl me. Ember's a special attack, motherfucker. Can't touch me. More. Let me hear the voice of your Pokemon. Oh, poor chop, do. I'm going to Ember that bitch again. Oh, he scratched my poor chop. You son of a bitch. Don't touch my poor chops. Yeah. Uh, get, uh, uh, one more and you're done. I told you not to scratch my pig, bitch! In the face. Get burned. Oh, the cat. Oh, yeah. Fall to the floor and die. 106 EXP. Look at that. Level 9. Level 9. Look at that. And I learned Odor Sleuth. That move, um, people say it's really useless. It's really useless in-game. Uh, but it makes moves... It identifies Pokemon, so it makes sure that uh, Pokemon that are evasive, uh, you can actually hit. And Ghost-type Pokemon, I, I believe you can hit with... Uh, moves that aren't normally effective against it. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. Then why the fuck do you have Perloin? I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. And then he just walks off like a little pussy. Bye, Negro. Huh. Strange guy. 
but I'm going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striaton City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Um, I love how in this game, like in all the Pokemon games, that you have to take on the gym leader challenge. I mean, what if people just wanted to do Pokemon contest, which suck ass, but I mean, what if they just wanted to do it? I mean, like, if you look at the Pokemon anime, you had Ash who did that, and then you had Brock who wanted to breed Pokemon, he wanted to make them have sex and shit, and then, and then heal it up, and then you had, like, May who wanted just contest, you see? I mean, why can't they offer that in game? I mean, I can understand that this Pokemon, you want to kill things, but I mean, you know, just, just, just a little thought. So here we are. Still no running shoes yet. Uh, yeah, actually, we actually gonna get those pretty soon. Uh, let's go down here. What's down here again? There's this bitch. What's this? You and your Pokemon somehow resemble? I don't look anything like that fat ass bitch. Especially when he's gonna get fatter. You gonna you call? You just call me fat? You just call a girl fat? Man, that's disrespectful. Oh, your Pokemon, you're suckling. I want to be a trainer too. Yeah, fuck you, kid. Suck my dick. Is it important to train your Pokemon in battle? How many Pokeballs do you have? Do you think you have a good? You know what? I don't need advice from you, bitch. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do. I don't remember all of this because I played this such long ago. Um, I'm just gonna be talking it. Uh, just when it comes to a new town, I'll probably just look at all this stuff, or just go to the people that are necessary. Do do because I know that in some cities there's only a few people that you need to talk to. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. This music is so good. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, if only had running shoes, it'd be so much quicker. Uh, so, in this city, Akimula Town is very, very uh, unique in the past. Because if you come up here to this building up here. Oh, not, not talk to people saying you're relaxed. sounds like, man, I love this place so much. Yeah, look at the view. It's so great. You see two Pokeballs over there that you can get on the next route. So, if you go in this house and you talk to one of these people, they will play according to the Akimula Town song with their instrument. Shall I play my favorite tune? Yes. See, look at the piano. Talk to this guy. I want to listen to his drum too. Look at how amazing that is. It just went from a good song to an even better song. That was, that was a great addition that I like to this game. What's this old man got to say? Let me give you the benefit of my experience. You're listening. The number of Pokemon you can take with you at one time is... Yeah, I, I, told, I told these guys that a while ago. Alright, let's see who's this bitch. On Route 2, many trainers... Tra oh, so uh, they're telling you about trainers. Uh, so basically this town is for people that never played the, uh, a Pokemon game before. And it tells you all the things you need to know, like... Uh, uh, how there's different types of Pokemon, uh, buy potions, stock up on potions, how trainers uh, battle you. And I really like how, it, it's really random to me, like when you see a trainer, you just, they just walk out, they're just like, dude, let's fight, and like you're just like, I don't even know you, they're just like, Pokemon do everything in power for people. Yeah, it's just weird. And then they give you money too, for beating them. I mean, I would think that they wouldn't even bother giving you money, but I mean, it must be like a code or some shit. If you get strong, you can move forward, blah, 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 blah. Hey, little kid. I want to talk to you. I got candy. I got candy, little kid. Oh, you don't want me. Ooh, a pat rat. Pat rat is an annoying Pokemon. And then here, if you come up here, you get another Pokeball from this random dude. That's cool. I knew there was somebody that gave you something. Hey, little girl, I got candy, too. No, I don't want to play rock, paper, scissors. Yes. Rock, paper, scissors. Grass! This girl, I believe, she will always choose the opposite of what you do because she's teaching you what's super effective against what. Man, that music is amazing. And then we walk outside. And then we are off to the next route. These middle areas are just transition areas. They made them bigger just so you can actually ride your bike because I remember in Diamond and Pearl you couldn't ride your bike but in Platinum they made them wide enough so that you could ride your bike. So here we are on Route 2 and we're going to be getting a call right now. The X transceiver is ringing. Mom, what do you want? Is it me or does every time you talk to your mother in, in real life that you're just like, uh-huh, yeah, mom, yeah, okay, yeah, love you too, bye. Like, that's pretty much how the conversation, but this, you, you don't even talk, so I mean, it's kind of like a one-sided conversation. Gracie, it's your mom, how are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you, so I called, but I'm going to hang up that extra her now. And then the bitch fucking teleports. Gracie, I finally caught up with you and how... Did you clean up my room? Did you make me a sandwich? Uh... 
Oh, you gave me the running shoes? Good. But how are you going to get back to the kitchen now? You can't run back. I'm kidding. I'm being such a dick right now. Uh, Mom, you taught me how to clean the kitchen in my room. You're such a good lady. Uh, man, I'm a douche. All right. So I'm going to end. Uh, this is the end of this episode. We made it. To, we did everything that needs to be done in the Cumulant Town. We met Team Plasma and N, and we made it to Route 2. We just got our running shoes. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you for all your support. So, uh, peace, butt grease, Middle East, priests, all that jazz. I try to give candy to little kids. Grease out, guys. <laughs>